Had to get up early um, because they have to get some haircuts. And this was the only time he had 7.30 appointment. So we had to take him down. We, we let you guys know we got to continue to look fresh. But um, so we had to uh, get their haircuts. I'm going to drop little dry bean off at my parents' house. And um, after that, me and the boys, we're going to um, actually spend some time, some quality time together, father and son time, and go see Ant-Man. To be honest, I truly have no desire to go see it. I know, I, I really never got into Ant-Man, but Dan went to go see it with one of his buddies. He thought it was one of the best movies he's seen. Not better than Avengers, but he thought it was really good, and he needs someone to talk to about it, so... Sean wanted to go see it, so we're gonna go check that out um, here in a little bit. Dry bean in the back and Bombay. Nene actually is went up to uh, Marcia's mom's house in Iowa for a week. Oh no, she's gonna come back on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so man, birthday, she get the and grandma usually spoils them. So she probably get to do another shot till she drop. She's just been kicking it. So she's having a good time. She's uh it's definitely good to have her back. Um me and the wife get to go out a lot and go on dates and hang out and stuff while she stay home and watch the kids, which is great. Today's journey, so it's good and everything. <laughs> I just want to thank you this morning, Lord, and everything once again for watching us over us all night last night. Once again, Father God, we're here upon your grace this morning. There you go. Without your grace this morning, it would be possible for us to be here this morning. So it's good. Amen. What's what's some things in your head, Dad? What's going on? Well, I, I've been uh, I've been on uh, been on Facebook and <laughs> Pops, why you keep on you keep on deleting your Facebook and re keep friend requesting me and stuff? Huh? I want to learn how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, when old people get on Facebook, <laughs> what up, mama? Wait, wait. Um, it's my mama, man. Give me her, mama. Mm. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Uh, I'm, uh, so this is a month. How long? It's, it's three years, it's three years old? Yeah. Three years this month. Mm -hmm. Mom's almost passed away. Oh. But I'm here. But she here though. I That's what I'm talking mom. about. There you go. Flex the muscles, mom. <laughs> Let me see the muscles. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and just relax for the day. What'd you say, Sean? Where we see Emerald right now? Uh, I think it started around like 11 o'clock, so we got a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do, peeps. Sit back, relax, throw on your seatbelt. You've never been on a ride like this before. Right, what y'all know about that? All right, let's get out of here. All my boys be looking, they looking fresh. You looking good, Sean, you looking good. Hey. Ladies, if you're looking for a good man in about 20 years, <laughs> yeah. I give you, uh, I'm taking dowries. Is that what it is? Is when you gotta pay some person to, to marry your child? Yeah. How much they gotta pay me then? To marry you? Like if someone wanna marry you, right? They have to pay me money. That's how it works. So how much do you think you're worth? More than everything in the world. So they have to pay like, you know, they don't even have the money, so. They don't, they don't got the money? They, they, they don't, don't have it. enough money. Well, but, but I gotta, I gotta retire, so you gotta put a number on it now. Come on now. Okay. People been People been asking. They wanna know how much they gotta pay. How much, what you think? One billion? Two. It's only Bubba. It's only about five people that got over a billion dollars in the world already. So your selection is gonna be short. So we gotta make it work. You know what? <clears throat> we'll discuss that with his mom. We'll come up with the number of people. As soon as we come up, as soon as we come up with that number, we'll let you guys know so the biddings can start now before they become of age. Uh, yeah. Fast, he can get around that park. Get it. Gotta work on that jump shot, Sean. What's going on, peeps? Decided to come out here, sit back, chat, talk to you for a little bit. You know what? To be honest, people, my heart is heavy, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let me take a sip real quick. Can I take a sip of my coffee? Strong. All right, so check it, right? Um, just this last week, in my hometown, within like maybe a two mile radius, I don't know, but it was four homicides, people. Four people have gotten killed, and their ages ranges, I think from 18 all the way up to like 30 something, man. Four. Four, man, my Facebook feed has been, it's been sad, man. Just people posting. Some of these people I knew, and it's like, wow, are you serious? And to be honest with you, people, people, it's not gonna stop. It's just not gonna stop. One of the hardest things to do is get a thug to change his mind. Because that's what those people are, thugs, man. And I lived in that environment. I grew up in that environment. And you gotta understand the way a thug thinks, right? See, a thug, has this misguided sense of self-respect, right? That he even thinks if someone disrespects him, that's the cause of him murdering a person. I have, have friends and family members that has been killed because they looked at a person the wrong way. Looked at a person, people, and the thug misunderstood. I mean, literally killed someone because they looked at him in the wrong way. That's the mindset of a thug. Misguided sense of respect, people. That he believed he earned or is due him. And that's something right there, people, is really hard to change. Really hard to convince a person. You can visit some thugs and the gang members and the gang bangers to lay down their weapons. But only for a day. Two minutes, 37 seconds, Dan. I think he beat you. He, yeah, he beat you, man. Oh! Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have this misguided, I'm telling you people, it's sad. But the change of mind of a thug is almost damn near impossible. 
you can convince them to be sad and to put their guns down, but the next day they're going to pick them right back up. Yes, they are a product of their environment, but look at what their, their life, the thug life is glorified though. I mean, it just is. It's something attractive about it. It's evil, but something attractive about it being a thug that people are attracted to and they glorify and they pay them. So they see that and they're going to keep on doing it. It's crazy, right? It's real crazy that um, you get more respect when you're dead than when you're alive in the hood. In the hood, people. People, you get more respect coming from prison than getting a college education and graduating. You get more respect from coming from prison. That is the thug in the hood mindset, people. That's what you got to deal with. And then you have everyone glorifying the heck out of it the heck out of it and that's what they want to be but the only way in my opinion that you can change the direction of the hood it starts with the little babies it starts with the kids because you only can convince a thug to put down his guns for so long if you don't give him nothing to look up to or to aspire to you can make a person feel bad, feel a little remorse for something that they did and then set them guns down for a little bit. But guess what? As time goes on, them guns will get picked right back up and the cycle will continue. But man, in order to stop it, you start with the kids, people. You start with the kids, man. Because the kids get older and they can make changes. But if you start young, you can make impressions on them that will change. The landscape of the world but that's just my two cents people and it's frustrating to be honest with you but I'm a realist and that stuff ain't gonna stop anytime soon you can complain cry roll over in the dirt it's not stopping Matter of fact, I guarantee the people that killed these people they if they have not been caught yet they probably with their boys gloating or high-fiving each other about what they did and how they are now solidified how they're now a true thug that's the mindset of a thug but that's that's my two cents people i had to rant real quick about it all because it's frustrating and sad and that's why i got out of that environment but some people can't some people can't but man once you read uh it's sad that's all I'm gonna say about it. It is really sad. You know, I'm gonna try my best, man. I'm doing my best trying to raise my little crackers to be strong black men that value family and God above all things, man. That see the value in, in love and having a relationship and having wives and raising their kids and having family nights, doing family trips, doing all that stuff. Ain't that's right. Come here. What? Talk to the people. Tell them. Yeah. How is your dad raising you, brother? What What is your dad teaching you? Mm. He's teaching me how um, to be respectful to people mm. and um, what are you teaching you about family? Important. What are you teaching you about God? He's very, 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 very important. Yeah. And that He is um, what well, Jesus died for us and everything. Hey. So. Amen. 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 It's rough out here, peeps. But the Lacey film, we will grind one day at a time. We will rise above. We will rise above the fray. We will carry on. We will not let the night overcome, but we shall overcome the night. We shall be the dark nights. We shall be the beacons of hope. 
We shall overcome despair and depression in order to move on to greater heights and greater things. The Lacey fam, my legacy shall live on. With the grace of God, we shall overcome and be one. All right, people, let me stop playing. I'm tripping. But, all right, we about to head on out to check out this Ant-Man. I don't know what's going on with Ant-Man, but Dan saying it's really good. So I'm interested to see if he's right so we can talk about it. Right, Dan? You want to... You want to be you want to be able to talk to somebody yeah, about. Yeah, mom was like, I have to see because I told her apart and then she. Your mom like, coming? I don't know. Go she, go go ask her. If she coming? She says she's going to the store. Oh, go ask her real quick. Come back, let me know. All right, peace. We'll see you in a bit. How about Tell the people what happened. <laughs> My son, he doesn't want me to go. So what happened, people, was is I told <laughs> as you guys witnessed, I said, Daniel, go ask your mom oh, if you want to go to the movies, that? and Daniel went to proceed to go ask. And mom said, oh, yeah, I will go. Y'all can go at a later time because I got to do a couple errands. And Dan said, oh, so a later time? Nope, we're not doing that. So understand, we're not, you're, not, you're not going right now? Okay, and left. He don't want to go at a later time and wait for his mom. But I'm sure Christmas and birthday gifts are, man, he wants galore of those. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you raise them and they turn out ratchet anyway. Yep, I like your shirt too. Look for it on the website, people. Yeah. I'm trying to promote today, so I got my yep. baseball mom on. You look very pretty. I like your makeup. Who did it? <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> All right, baby. I did it. Bye. Bye. I got keys. Hold on now. Oh, what, what? We done made it up my, here at the movie theaters. Oh, shoot. Let me hide my candy. I, you know what I got, people. You know what I got. Goo Jumbo. Jinalangu Jimmy. Jinalangu Jimmy. Oh, uh, that's Swahili for those who didn't know. Boom. Well, we headed up here. We about to get it. Watch it. Ah, uh, I got mixed feelings about him, man. I really didn't care too much for him in the comics, so I have no clue how this is gonna be. Bubba said it'd be good, and he was wrong in the last movie, so he thought Avengers Part Two was good, and it was a horrible movie. Oh, you said it was action. Avengers 2, bro? Yeah. It, was, it was horrible. Yeah. I would never see that movie again. Where? Avengers Part 2. Oh. Are we going to head up in here, people? We'll see you in a bit. Well, you see number All right, what up, peeps? We just got done watching Ant-Man, and it was... It was okay. I saw Ant-Man. It was, it was okay. You know, I, I really didn't have any expectations for the movie, so it just met the, the bare minimum. What? Little action, a little drama, a little comedy, but it was it was okay. Man. It's walking stick. Right now we are about to get to the crib and I'm gonna mow the grass and uh, I don't know what else we're gonna do. See what the wife be up to. And then that'll be it. Um, the boys probably play outside and I'm gonna go get dry here in a little bit too as well. And then um, that'll be it, people. Oh, I finally found a yeah. You don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. A little spillage, it's not too bad. Here we go. Let me put that back on. Mm -hmm. What? All right, look at this, people. All right, this thing right here is one gallon it is one filled to the top is only one gallon check it out 256 235 
Now, how did it say I went over a gallon, people? The government steady scamming. That's all I gotta say. I didn't go over the gallon. I mean, I spilled a little bit, but still, it was. All right, so I'm headed back to the crib. Doesn't he? He knows. Got him. He knows. Zoom in on his butt. Oh, yeah. Shirt. Boy, please, yeah, you know I would, I would exit out of this so fast. What? I'm going back to the barn house. You going back? Okay, see ya. Now, why did you come home, buddy? You had to do it. Why did you come home? What? I'm going to this vein right here. See you later. Mr. Stank. It's flowing through these. It's going he in just there. drank. He just made us some juice, so he's he's feeling the juice go through. Honey, what is you doing? Walking out of gas. You ran out of gas. Ooh. I heard you singing. What happened? I was tearing it up, blowing people. Y'all don't know, man. I should be in my other life. I was an R and B. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I feel like taking off my shirt right now, but. I don't want to shut it down. Right. I don't want to shut it down. <laughs> you take the shirt off, the camera gets shut down. <laughs> so it's periscope. Honey, and oh, you, those shoes. Mom, what if it was periscope know, and then there was no stopping it? <laughs> right. Like you're like, where's the button? Where's the button? And he got his shirt off. And he took his shirt off. He gonna have, he gonna have to go to church and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. No, oh, come on. Me need me sunglasses. How come this? It's been a car sitting on our street for two days now. Y'all know I don't play that mess. I will call the city on you. Thank <laughs> you. 